All right, next reaction is going to be a very special type of double replacement reaction called a neutralization reaction. And we're going to take our sodium hydroxide, which is a clear liquid solution. Here you go. Squirt the whole thing in there. And we're going to add to it one drop of our phenolphthalein indicator. This is an acid-base indicator that changes pink in the presence of an acid. There we go, so we have a pink fluid, because it is basic, sodium hydroxide is basic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add enough hydrochloric acid to where the pink goes away. And you can see that the pink on the side went away entirely, and as we shake this, see it's pink? Oh, it's not pink anymore, because it's not a base anymore. Um, and then again, whenever you're dealing with acids or bases, you wanna double check it. Uh, to see, it's kind of toasty too, uh, if it is safe to drop down the sink, if we have truly neutralized it. So I'm going to put a blue litmus paper in there, and it turns pink, which means no, it is not safe to dump down the sink without first neutralizing. So we'll put this in our special uh, dump container. Now I'm going to come back to this reaction. Remember, it was blue, and as we let it sit here, it's supposed to go clear. Well, watch this. Hey, look, it's not blue anymore. It's clear because the zinc chloride solution, <clears throat> excuse me, is clear and the copper, you can see, is that brown gunk all at the bottom. All right, one more reaction. 